In other news, Korea and China are still divided over a number of sensitive issues in their bilateral free trade agreement talks. The two hope to wrap up negotiations by the end of this year, but is that a feasible plan? Our Kim Min Ji has the details of the 13th round of FTA negotiations between Korea and China. The latest round of talks on a Korea-China free trade agreement came to an end Friday, and while some progress was made, the two sides remained divided over some highly sensitive issues. In the 13th round of negotiations held in Beijing, the two sides discussed a range of topics from products to services and investment. There were compromises made with customs issues, such as exempting shipments of less than 700 U.S. dollars from submitting a certificate of origin. They also agreed to complete customs procedures on shipments within 48 hours of arrival. But differences do remain. Korea wants China to lift tariffs on Korean manufacturing products in the early stages of implementation, and China wants the Korean market open for agricultural products. Neither side has been willing to budge on those issues. The two countries have now so far agreed on four of 22 chapters for their FTA and are nearing compromises in several other chapters, including economic cooperation. Korea's trade ministry said the two sides have yet to decide on a date for their next round of talks. President Park Geun-hye and Chinese President Xi Jinping agreed in talks earlier this summer to wrap up FTA talks by the end of this year. China is Korea's biggest trading partner in terms of both imports and exports. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.